Well, howdy shoppers. Today we're going to be talking about why exactly I stopped doing the Instacart Costco drop. This used to be a big thing on my channel. Every day I would almost record a video of me going to Costco, doing the Costco drop, getting that big juicy Instacart money at 10 a.m. Yeah, life was good back then, but then a lot of stuff happened and time has happened. While we talk about this, we're gonna be doing a little bit of Walmart Spark. We have a little $28 order right now. It is for three customers, unfortunately. It's all curbside. I got in this morning and there were like 10 new people just sitting where the OGs would normally stay. So that was kind of interesting. They're all huddled in a little circle, snapping them orders from us, which makes me very sad. Walmart seems to be letting a lot of people on right now, which is kind of unfortunate because that's one of the main reasons why I had to stop doing a lot of Instacart. It's just, it's oversaturated and so is Costco. But uh, anyways, let me go ahead, do this order. We're gonna video a little. We're just trying to make 50 bucks today, something small, just something to get out of the house and start recording again. And then uh, after that, we'll go Spill all the juicy drama on why exactly I'm no longer doing the Instacart Costco drop. Alrighty guys, so we have a car completely full of stuff. We got one order in the front seat, we got another one in the back, and then the last one is in the trunk. I was just kind of talking with the employee just asking what were their thoughts about the triple orders and they they don't like them either no one does besides Walmart because they're they're making some extra money. Mr. Walmart's just in there all giggles grin ear to ear while we're taking these triples for him. I mean, two years ago, they almost paid this much just for one order. How times have changed. Alrighty, so about 50 minutes from accepting the order, we are now done, which is pretty good. But the sad part is with these triple people orders, even if it's fairly low mileage like this one, it's only five miles, I'm still not ready to get back at Walmart for the next round robin, which seems like that's all they're pushing today. Normally I kind of cherry pick for shopping orders, but because there are so many people sitting in the parking lot, kind of figuring things out already, uh, yeah, there's not a lot of shopping orders yet. Yeah, if Walmart could just make the pickup time just 15 minutes earlier, maybe on the 30 minute mark, that would just be way more ideal. But who knows? I don't know why they do what they do, but they do what they do. It's been probably about three weeks since I recorded everything else in this video and I'm finally coming back to what this entire video is about and that's why I stopped doing the Costco drop. I'm currently waiting for a Walmart Spark order. I'm finally again back on the grind after all the family's gone so I figured now is a good time to talk about it. If you guys didn't know most of my channel is based around doing the Costco drop for about a year straight and it was my primary source of income for quite some time. Basically the way things went down they started doing the I guess cart star rewards program. I forget what it's actually called but you know what I'm talking about. Gold cart, platinum, diamond and it was kind of great i uh i got diamond cart and i was doing pretty well and then um what happened is i got deactivated from instacart just temporarily since i was deactivated i wasn't able to get all the points to get back to diamond cart so all this is happening i'm moving farther away from costco which by the way now it's about I believe a 40 minute drive so that kind of doesn't make it near as profitable for me because that's a lot of wear and tear in my vehicle. So anyways, I got back on Instacart and unfortunately I wasn't diamond cart and it was very difficult to do anything at the Costco drop. And at the same exact time, somehow Walmart Spark approved me. So instead of doing Instacart, I started doing Walmart Spark and making almost the same amount of money while delivering in my town, not having to drive 40 minutes out. So instead of driving 40 minutes one way and uh, 40 minutes back, sometimes even more, I'm doing like 20 minutes. So about half the distance. I'm in a town where my wife works. We're just closer and it's just better off this way. I'm also doing mostly Amazon influencers right now. So basically that's my main source of income right now. So there's really no need to push that hard anymore to go do the Costco drop every day and just drive that far away. I'm kind of just 
over with it and I think it still can be pretty profitable but there is a lot of competition. It's oversaturated and it's hard for me to even get an order so it's almost impossible for me to get back to diamond cart right now at least in my town. So after all the years of Instacart service the uh, don't really seem to want to push orders my way anymore which is very unfortunate because I've done a lot of promotion for them but it is what it is it was good while it lasted and we used it as a stepping stone which is something I always encourage you guys to try and do I just did that while I was working on another business and now that business that I was working on in my free time while doing Instacart is paying the bills right now so if you guys could get to a point where you can research ways to make some more money while you're waiting for orders, definitely try that out and uh, just start looking up some stuff. I know some friends on our Discord server have picked up day trading, they've picked up affiliate marketing, they've done drop shipping, or even just trying other apps, or maybe something as simple as furniture flipping. Just try to focus on making as many sources of income for yourself as possible, and hopefully you guys will end up in a pretty good situation by the time you're done using the app as your stepping stone. So long story short, I basically got deactivated, couldn't get back to Diamond Card, and just found more money somewhere else. And that's why I don't really do the Costco drop anymore. Anyways, let's uh, get back into this fun ride along. All right guys, so we're doing our next order. I was sitting for two hours, honestly, on my way home, and um, I ended up seeing this like $11 four mile order, kind of going the direction I'm going anyways. So definitely not a banger, definitely not good. Um, yeah, I'm just taking it mostly for content at this point, because it's hard to even get an Instacart order these days. Anyways, uh, we got seven items. Let's see what we got without showing the, the phone, since uh, that's apparently a no-no now. We have some Reese's, Chips Ahoy, donuts, pineapples, Pepsi, looks like uh, some biscuits and some hummus. It's a lot of sugar, it's a lot of damage. All right, anyways, I'm gonna go uh, shop this. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying, guys. I'm so out of it at this point. See you with a cart sort of full of stuff. All right, that order wasn't too bad. I'll tell you what else isn't bad. Seven minute drive. And it's gonna get me way closer to the house, which means it's almost dinner time for me. But yeah, kind of glad to get out of the Walmart parking lot. Some of the new sparklers, it's what uh, our Discord server chooses to call us. They're really not quite as nice as some of the OG sparklers that I used to kind of hang out with. One of them seemed like actually territorial of his spot. Like he was spitting all over it when I parked there. Like no joke, he just came out, windows were down, just started spitting right next to me. So yeah, I rolled my window up pretty fast, I will say. But yeah, what's going on with the new sparklers? They're doing Walmart Spark a disjustice. Anyways, the order was pretty smooth basically just one out of stock item. The customer is very epic because they gave us a suggested replacement. So I didn't even have to guess if they wanted a replacement or not. I just grabbed the other item and we were out of there. And then I used self-checkout because the lines at Target are absurd, at least by me. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the drop-off. Then uh, we're about done for the day. Alrighty guys, we are done for the day. We made a whopping $40 in about three and a half hours. By the time all the expenses come around, we made about $10 per hour today, which is horrific. Let's just say I'm pretty happy that I did find other hobbies that pay even better than gig work. And it's just further proof that it's really helpful to have multiple income sources because some days you're gonna have a low income source on one job like this, and then you'll have a, a better day on one of your other income sources. And it kind of all balances out for a much more consistent breakdown of your income. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like down below. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys like ride alongs like this, and I'll see you guys on the next video.